Now in this question we're given that f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x minus 6 and asked to show that there's a root alpha somewhere between 1.4 and 1.45. Now to answer this question what we're going to do is look at what we call the change in sign method. We start off by putting 1.4 in for the value of x into here. In other words, we work out f of 1.4. So that's going to be 3 multiplied by 1.4 cubed, minus 2 times 1.4, and then minus 6. And if you do that on the calculator, what you get is minus 0 0.568. Similarly, we do f of the upper bound here, 1.45 and if you do that in a similar way substitute x as 1.45 what you find you get is 0.245875 so now what I've got is two values and from a graphical point of view if I was to just say sketch the graph or part of the graph of f of x what I find is that when x is 1.4 we've got a negative value okay minus 0.568 so let's just imagine it's this point here and when we put in 1.45 for x let's imagine that's x is 1.45 I know this scale it's not drawn accurately here but it's just for the purposes of trying to put this point across that when you put 1.45 through the equation the value of x comes out to be 0.245875 so let's just imagine that's this point up here now because a cubic graph is continuous that means there's no breaks certainly across this interval then the curve must have crossed over the x-axis at some point. This point here, which is the root of the equation, the value that makes the equation equal zero. And this root is, in this question, called alpha. So because we've got a change in sign, we know the curve has crossed over the x-axis. So because there's a change in sign and the curve is continuous, there must be a root in this interval here and all we need to do is just say that so I've just put it down here that therefore since there's a change of sign over the interval 1.4 to 1.45 and the curve is continuous there must be a root alpha in this interval and that brings us to the end of this part of the question